Hey everyone and welcome back to our playthrough of Close to the Sun. Um, this is going to be chapter 2 of the game. I am 100% wearing the exact same clothes that I wore in the last playthrough. I've just put a headband on and I've changed the colour of the lights to make it seem like it's a different day when I'm actually just playing the game like 5 minutes after I ended the last video. But we're breaking it into chapters so just pretend it's another day I'm wearing something different. This headband wasn't on me last time. Anyway, I'm hoping, because there was no save button during the game, I'm hoping if I just press continue, it's just going to continue from where we left off. So, we'll find out together. Um, if you wanted to see chapter 1, that was so loud. If you wanted to see chapter 1 um, before watching this chapter because you didn't see it, just check out my YouTube channel. There will be a playlist containing all of the chapters for this specific game. So go to my channel, click on the playlist, and you'll see all the different games that I have played in each individual playlist. Otherwise, I'm hoping by the time I stop speaking, top speaking, by the time I stop speaking with my introduction to chapter two of this game, it will be ready to play. Like now. As if by magic, I meant that. Let's crack on with the game, shall we? Last time we left off, obviously, we just entered or went on board the Helios. And things were looking a bit sus. So where are we now? 24, if I see that correctly. We are... Tesla Torium. Ooh. Get this. Avengers Assemble much. Warden Cliff. I don't know who I thought Warden Cliff was like a warden. This is lead researcher Archer calling any survivors on this frequency. Is anyone out there? What the I repeat, this is lead researcher Archer calling for any survivors on this frequency. Is anyone Ada. Rose? Ada! Hey, Holy shit, Rose! Ada! What the hell are you doing here? Wait, what? Ada, you told me to come. I've got your letter right here. Mama told me not that to come. That doesn't make any sense. I didn't write you any letter, Rose. But, but never mind. There's been an accident. Or sabotage. It, it doesn't matter. We need to get off this ship. Left first. That's what the quarantine is about? Ada, what the hell is going on? Rose, listen very carefully. Oh, no. really to leave. It's spreading all... Ada... That's pretty cool because I could have stood still and that still would have happened. Because I was moving, it made it feel like the signal was getting worse because I moved. I quite like that. And that was just my choice to move, of course. But and Helios pressed the button. Ah, the Helios. Named after the sun itself, a source of almost unlimited power. This is a safe space for those with an open mind and a talent for the scientific arts to expand the limits of human endeavor. Is that what Helios Wave means? Eyes, the sun? Cynical money men. Here all that matters is progress as we reach for the very stars themselves. It is our floating home and the cradle of mankind's technological evolution. You walk within the very future of the human race and you are most most welcome. Ah, the oh, fuck off. Named after the sun At least it works, to be fair. I thought it would, like, broke. Nut job or narcissist? Coming from a streamer who invites people to watch him play video games. Automatic ships. Radio waves aren't just great for transmitting sound images and energy across large distances but with this radio controlled boat they can also be used to transport people if you are here on the helios then you've already enjoyed a voyage on one of these they are unmanned vessels controlled automatically yeah, right. via radio signals less risky in case of malfunction and subsequent drowning not that there was ever much risk. oh that is to say you're safely here aren't you so that's the ship that i came on not that one obviously <laughs> I'm not the rat, promise. This is the machine with which I intend to rid the world of war once and for all, my dear Death Ray. It may seem contradictory that such a thing could promote peace, but possessed with this, none would even consider military action against us. That's the theory, at least. I'm confused as to what type of game this is. Maybe it's not. A Bioshock type game like I thought it was. Because I would have assumed I would have got a weapon by now. 
as like a tutorial. Maybe it's more of a uh, adventure puzzle type game, but with like the Bioshock look and feel to it. In which case it would still be cool. I just kind of wish I knew that's what I was getting into or playing it if that's the case. But it doesn't matter, we find out together. If the chapters are like half an hour each, it's literally perfect for a YouTube my video. First Tesla tower at Warden Cliff was a huge success. I always knew that my dream of free energy transmitted wirelessly across the globe would be a resounding success. What I did not foresee was the hunger of the human race. It's gluttony for more, more and more electricity. Wireless transmission of power, that's the easy part. Finding that power in the first place, now there's the tricky bit. I thought they'd move and stuff, but I'm just listening at this point. X-ray machine. When I discovered the X-ray, we would have wonderful times in the lab shooting each other with the thing. Blackened silhouettes on the walls, capturing a single moment of playtime for all eternity. That is, of course, until we realize that X-rays are quite, quite harmful. This machine makes the whole process much safer, though far less fun. Fair enough, Nicholas. That's just a waste of energy. That's constantly pinging electricity back and forth between however many of those things there are. Creepy ship full of scientists in the middle of the ocean. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Indeed. Oh, there's a bird. We have life. Can't pet that bird. Whoa. Okay. What the? Uh. <laughs> she literally just did the same Hello? thing. Anyone? Why am I getting her memories? Is this like a, a sex party or something? What the hell? Jesus. Can you not please? Yeah, I can hear you, but what the hell am I doing here? If you didn't write the letter, who did? It's in your handwriting and everything. This is gonna sound weird, but it might have been me. It's not present me, but future me. I know how crazy that sounds, but I promise I can explain everything. Let's rendezvous in my apartment. From there, we'll escape together, okay? Escape from what exactly? It's not safe here, Rose. It's spreading throughout the ship. I'll tell you everything when we meet up in my apartment. You need to grab a Faraday key card from the check-in desk there in the main hall. They're kept in a wall-mounted safe. The combination should be written down somewhere nearby. The key card will automatically take the elevator to the right district. Did you get all that? Yeah. Kind of. Open safe. Get key card. Use elevator. Meet in your apartment. I, I got it. Great. I won't be able to reach you on the radio for a bit, so just get there and stay safe, okay? Fine. If. But when you get there... I'm expecting some answers. Deal? Deal. Oh, and sis, even if I can't explain why or how you got here, I really am grateful that you're here. See you soon. If she didn't soon, write the letter, oh nice. If she didn't write the letter, how do I then trust that she's the one talking to me on the radio? Could be future her, right? All mounted safe. I assume that would be like the reception, but apparently not. I don't have to go all the way back, do I? I'm gonna try. If the door's open, then allow me to. Okay, so no, it's definitely in here somewhere. It's gotta be this bit. That looks like a reception area, right? Am I having a moment again? Uh, an engraving on the inside reads Tech Labs and a Mincy Mask Return to. Okay. Maybe one of the masks has. What's that? Has like the code. 
Can't get in there, right? Look. The... Oh, I can jump over the table. There's enough. Remember to write down the new save code when you change it. Margaret had to come all the way from the tech labs to reset the save back in the last time. Current code 142. What is the point of having a save if you're just going to write the code down? That must be the safe. Now to get it open. It was already on one. Oh shit, okay. I get it. Get it. Faraday yeah. District. Can I just take all of them? Bingo. Why wouldn't I just grab I all of the keys? The Can't be that heavy. Oh, I just heard a fucking zombie. It was like... Oh, it's the crows. Shoo. Where, where are they even going? Whoa. I kind of wish I was underneath that now just to see if that could actually kill me. I'm guessing you can die in this game. I there. All right. Hope this works. That's a bloodied handprint there. There's only one way in, one way out, right? So, kind of hoping that's not the end of the chapter because that's a short video of his. I'm expecting every chapter to be roughly about half an hour long. I'll take an hour. I don't really want to upload a video that's more than an hour, but we'll see. Um, I did, after the first chapter, I did close the game and just look up how many chapters there were, and there are 10 chapters. And it said the average game time to complete this is about four to five hours. So you do the math, right? Roughly half an hour each, because I'm slower than most people. That would make it five hours. So fingers crossed. That is a good playlist for YouTube. Should I be reading this? Sometimes it goes too fast. Oh, that was the end of the chapter. Fair enough. That is kind of weird, but we leave it there. Simple as a nice 13 to 14 minute video. Um, and we'll see you in the next one for chapter three. I'm literally going to be wearing the same thing because I'm going to keep playing this. And I'm going to make it seem like a different day because I'll change the color of the lights and I'll change my headband as well. Uh, once again, thank you to everyone for watching. If you like what you saw and you can't wait for the next one, do the things. Like, subscribe. There'll be like a little animation popping up somewhere right now telling you to do the things. Comment on the video as well. Let me know what you think of the game. So far, I'm still intrigued and I really want to play it. It's currently half past midnight in the morning. I normally go to bed at 2. You might be able to smash a few more chapters out. Um, I'm only going to release them, obviously, in a timely fashion on YouTube. But thank you to everyone for watching. We'll see you in Chapter 3. But until then, everyone, stay safe. Take care of each other. And as always... Keep on gaming. Ciao, ciao.